As a government organization, we are also responsible for making sure that we meet the needs of our people, and that is why your skills are so important. And I want to thank Kyle and his staff for bringing all of us together today. Each and every one of you should be proud. It is your work, a commitment to excellence, and your desire to be the best that has enabled West Virginia to be a leader in many areas of technology. Our state has been recognized nationally by some of the most prestigious organizations, including the Multi-State Information Sharing and Analysis Center, the National Association of Chief Information Officers, and many more. It's been said technology has the shelf life of a banana. Given the pace at which technology is constantly updated, we can ill afford to allow our technology to sit on the shelf. State government exists to serve people. No matter when, no matter where, our constituents expect and deserve outstanding service. The mobility of the devices that many of us own and have access to today has created this expectation, and we must continue to meet it. And that is where you come in. I want to impress this thought upon you very strongly that we rely upon you. Our most important asset is you, the IT professionals. You build the partnerships to keep pace with technology growth and keep us on the right track. And for that, I sincerely thank you for your hard work and dedication. The work you perform daily for your offices and the people of West Virginia is outstanding. Your work addresses an array of techn technology problems and security threats. Over the next two days, it is my hope that you learn about other concerns and issues which are facing us. And of course, it is most important that you learn how to identify and adapt as needed for the protection of our network and our state offices. Moving forward, our state <coughs> excuse me, is looking to put advanced technology in place to expand our ability to serve and be more competitive. Currently, we have initiated two major technology projects that will vastly improve the way that we conduct business in West Virginia. Many of you in the room are working on the ERP, or the Enterprise Resource Planning System, now known as OASIS, our advanced solution with integrated systems. Once fully implemented, OASIS will transform and standardize state government's business processes. Implementation of OASIS will be no easy feat, but it will offer us the greatest opportunity to date to maximize our efforts to function efficiently. The second project is truly groundbreaking in its impact for the people of West Virginia, and that is broadband. Our goal is to deploy high-speed internet to every corner of our state. With this capability, West Virginia will be even better positioned to attract new businesses, increase educational opportunities for our children, improve emergency response in our rural communities, and improve the quality of life for many West Virginians. Regarding the process of our state's $126 million grant from the National Telecommunications and Information Administration, the bottom line is this grant will bring our broadcast goals to reality. The benefits from the application of this grant are enormous, and I want you to know that we are making progress. All of you in this room understand the tremendous challenge that comes with a technology plan that impacts the entire state. And I want you to hear it directly from me that I appreciate your understanding of the challenges this project presents and has met thus far. And I want you to know that it is our goal to have our state wired by 2013. We can achieve our broadband and our OASIS goals with your assistance. Together, we are transforming West Virginia by adopting and expanding our technological capabilities. And the key element in this is you, the individuals in this room. You are technology workers. The knowledge you obtain and continue to seek will keep our technological capabilities up to date and ready for the future. And again, thank you for the work that you do each and every day for the people of the state of West Virginia, 
And thank you, Kyle, and others for the invitation to be here today. I hope you enjoy your conference and learn a lot. I hope that you from outside of West Virginia enjoy your time here in the Mountain State, and we would invite you to come back soon. Enjoy the conference. Thank you.